Hello, Nostalgia Seekers. Today, I am back for more video game speculations here at TMP Cyberlink Studios. For this video, I am about to present the top 100 video game titles that I wish they would appear within the Nostalgia Vault Collection. They are set according to which developer slash publisher, game console format, year of release, and franchises I support, hoping to come to reality in the near future. Just be aware that some titles listed will be under speculation depending on which random descriptions I would modify or make up new titles. The rest have already existed, but I also wanted to include them in addition to hopefully be released to their respective consoles ranging from Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, to Microsoft PC slash CD-ROM integration. If any one of the following video game titles interest you, please feel free to pause the video. While the third section is in play, I wanted to discuss about the changes in video game title selections, years of release, and support to developers slash polishers that are yet to be confirmed. First off, I decided to modify the years of gaming from 2030 to 2028, because newer games might only come to newer consoles that I have no experience on, and I might grow out of gaming past that particular year. The other important reason is that the earliest game title I have collected is Space Invaders back in 1978. When I have a video game that is within the 50th anniversary of this popular arcade classic, that's it. But I also want to make sure that none of the other years are skipped for releases. The movie slash TV show release years will still remain the same. 
Although that would pressure other companies to make my listed video games from that particular time period, I still have faith that they will come, and I wanted them to take their time. Which leads me to my second topic, the top 5 developers slash polishers that I still support. Number 5 is a debate between Beanox, Toys for Bob, and Chrome Studios. Normally, I would wait for the fourth Spyro game to be announced in the near future. That is until Ty the Tasmanian Tiger showed up with its announcement first, celebrating his 20th anniversary. Ever since Microsoft announced its absolutely ridiculous acquisition with Activision Blizzard, Spyro 4 might get delays galore. This makes me lose a lot of hope. On the contrary, Spiral Reignited Trilogy seemed pretty colorful with its graphics and gameplay compared to Ty the Tasmanian Tigers. However, I would give the edge to Chrome Studios because the original Ty game has the most nostalgic music scores and I have selected more games from that company. Seven versus five from these popular Activision developers. Besides, it is worth waiting for the next tie game. Whether it is the 20th anniversary remake of the first title with its Unity engine, or a brand new fifth title. Number four, Purple Lamp Studios. Purple Lamp Studios is part of the THQ Nordic division. Their last project, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated has its highs and lows. The downsides of this game title are platforming glitches galore. On the flip side, Purple Lamp did an amazing job with its graphics and enhanced moves. I hope they keep going with the new Cosmic Shake title and hopefully to be better without too many glitches. Number 3, Dracar Studio. Despite being a small Spanish developer, Dracar Studio does look appealing according to the logo design. The same applies to the actual development. As far as their games, impressive graphics, nostalgic music scores, and upscale gameplay mechanics are concerned. Although some games do have very long loading times and minor movement glitches, I would still give Drakkar Studio the point for development and hopefully make more titles for better performance in the near future. Number 2. Behavior Interactive When I played the previous family-based games within this Canadian developer, what comes to my mind is plenty of nostalgic music scores and, well, behaviors galore in certain characters and objects. Because of those interesting features in some titles, I hope that Behavior Interactive would make more video games suitable for families in addition to my speculated ones. And number one, Taurus Games. This Australian game development company, in my opinion, is by far one of the best for top-notch nostalgia. Within their near-perfect soundtracks, outstanding graphics, and overall best gameplay mechanics and programming. However, every developer slash polisher, including the ones I highly support, have no desire to take everyone's descriptions and bring them out to life within their finished products, unless we least expect them, and they took them into consideration. Otherwise, I could also count on other developers from Australia, Canada, Spain, Austria, United Kingdom, France, and Germany that would do a similar job like the ones I mentioned earlier. Finally, I hope there is one American polisher that not only focuses on brand new mechanics including 60 FPS animation, highest quality possible for graphics and superb gameplay, 
but major improvement on music slash sound effects. Have bonus content like videos best for random scenes slash characters and concept art. Hear familiar voice telling galore and many more that you feel like interacting with a movie slash video game at the same time. I also made two previous videos about which video game titles I wish they come to life under observation. Check the description below for details. So, if you're planning to make a Nostalgia Vault collection of your own, what video game titles would you include? It doesn't matter what descriptions you choose, as long as they are family entertainment related. Thank you for your attention and watching this video. We will see you next time as we unveil the hidden wonders of Destination Nostalgia.